I mean, look at this cute face. Who can get tired of this cute face? Not me. <laughs> Timmy, why are you so cute? Hey guys, it's Hindash. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the 90s, which is awesome. <laughs> so I shot this look a couple of months ago, actually, and it is just resurfacing. <laughs> It is an all matte, pretty much full coverage, contoured, very 90s inspired look, cool tones on the eyes, mixing them with a bit of warm tones. I really love this look. Oh, Timmy, I can't. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look, then keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys very soon, bye. All right guys, so for today's look, me and Liana kind of anticipated that this was gonna be a 90s look because she loves that 90s vibe and an all matte look. So I thought this would be perfect for us to do this together. And as always, I'm gonna be starting off with a clean bare face and going in with skincare. I'm using the Caudalie Beauty Elixir just to wake her up. And because she's a bit on the drier side, I really wanna hydrate her skin properly because we are gonna go for an all matte look. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And applying a generous layer all over her skin and a bit on her neck and just blending that in and massaging it so that it really sinks into the skin and looks really beautiful. And we get that blood circulation going as we're doing this, which is great for pre-makeup. And it's always nice to feel pampered as you're doing this, so that's just an extra treat as well. Built into it. And I'm going to be following up with the Magic Eye Rescue and putting that underneath the eyes. This is a very hydrating formula, which I love for drier skin. And I'm going to be tapping that gently underneath the eyes. And I'm going to keep tapping it in as it sinks in because you can see it has that very beautiful glow as it starts to sink in. For primer, I'm going to be taking the Biteri Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. And I'm going to be applying that in all the areas that I want to blur and I want to smooth out. So basically on the T-zone. And because this is a hydrating formula, but it does kind of dry down to that soft, blurred look. I can really get away with creating that blurred base for drier skin types. And I'm not worried that it's gonna be very flaky or very dry and peely. So just applying a thin layer all over the center of the face and blending it out. And when you touch this, it's kind of cooling, which is very weird, but it's very refreshing. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Now this was the first time I tried it and this was months ago, but I've reached for it ever since. I actually use it in my Dubai Masterclass. I really, really like this foundation. It feels very thin, very weightless, but you do get that full coverage and you get that full color intensity if you want to even out the skin. And because Liana doesn't tan her face, her body is darker and much more tan than her face and because she uses skin treatments. So usually when people do that, their face tends to be lighter. So you want to balance that by color matching your neck and chest. And that's what I'm doing with Liana. And it is a beautiful soft matte look. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel heavy or flat. Now to further bronze and contour her face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Palette and just mixing a couple of darker shades to add that warmth and that depth to the face. So starting off on the cheekbones and building it up on the temples, on the forehead because we want the end result to be a very sculpted, contoured, matte look. So building up in layers is very nice to start off with. I'm going to put a bit of the Lucas Pawpaw ointment on her lips and letting that sink in so that when we get to lipstick, her lips are nice and hydrated. And I'm gonna be removing any excess foundation with a bit of micellar water from the eyebrows because I really don't like foundation on the eyebrows. <laughs> it drives me nuts. Now sticking with the foundation, because I really wanted to try this whole range, I am using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 40NY. And because this is a 90s look, I mean, you can't do a 90s look without a very bright, almost white under eye. <laughs> and I am staying true to that era by doing that and keeping everything nice and matte and light. So that really bright under eye is pretty much essential for this look. But I am going to blend it in properly. And keep in mind, we're going to bronze and we're going to add blush. So it kind of ties in and it gives you that beautiful kind of spotlight look. And I'm going back and forth with my damp beauty blender and my foundation brush. And just blending the edges and making sure everything is seamless. If you do get a bit of harsh lines, I mean, don't worry too much because we're going to go in with blush. And that's really going to tie in those two different layers and the bronzer as well. And I'm doing a bit of that now with the Makeup Forever foundation that I use to warm up the skin just to blend in the edges a bit more. If I feel like it kind of ate that contour. For cream blush, I'm taking the Nude Sticks, Nudies Matte and Body Language. You guys know I love these blushes. And I'm gonna be placing that pretty much over the contour a tiny bit and in between that concealer to tie everything in. 
push it into the skin and stipple it on so that you don't lift the layers of the foundation and taking a bit of the excess on the forehead to keep it a unified look. For powder, I want a flawless matte look, so I'm taking the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread. And I'm going to be applying that with a beauty blender because I want that, that kind of baked under eye feel. <laughs> That's really pushed into the skin to create a flawless canvas. And with whatever is left on the beauty blender, I'm going to push it all over the skin to really set that face. Because we are going for a full matte look. For bronzers, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer. Now, I don't know why I'm using two different colors. Honestly, I could have just gotten away with using the darker one. But I am mixing them, and I'm going to basically go over all the areas where I've contoured just to set everything and kind of intensify that even more and further enhance that matte look. And I'm doing that with a bit of a fluffier brush because I'm not being very precise now. I just want to add that color to the skin. And I'm going underneath the tip of the nose and the bridge. And this isn't going to be my final contour. I'm going to go in with a cooler contour, but this is kind of my base. So think of this as your bronzing step. For a bit of cream contour on the nose, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Match 6 in Truffle and Mocha. These are my favorite cream contours and I love them. And I'm going to be mixing them together and creating a base. So underneath the tip of the nose on the bridge, very thinly. You don't want to go for anything crazy. You want to blend everything in. Because we are going to be setting that and shaping that with a cooler toned contour. And for that, I'm going to be taking the Kevin O'Quan The Sculpting Powder in Medium. And going over those layers. For the nose highlight, I'm taking a soft highlight, and this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And I'm going to be taking the softer side and mixing it a bit with the more intense one. And with a tiny brush, I'm going down the center of the nose and the tip of the nose. To shape her brows, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number 4. And Liana has great brows, I'm just going to be intensifying them on the outer corners, and just really shaping them and give them that 90s feel. So I'm not really making them thicker, I just want to enhance the shape. And with that, I'm keeping the edges very crisp and precise, almost kind of very drawn in at the end. And in the front, I'm going to be a bit more light-handed and a bit more fluffy with the pencil. Because I am going to be setting everything with a powder. And for the powder, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette. And I'm going to mix a few of the taupey cool tone shades and going over the brow, especially focusing on the front of the brow and just fluffing that up, kind of creating hair like strokes and brushing everything through. Next, I'm going to be setting everything with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter in clear and just running that through the brows. For an eyeshadow base, I'm taking the MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. You guys know this is my favorite, I love it so much. And I'm going to be applying that all over the lid to neutralize the lid and to create kind of a clean canvas where eyeshadow can really stick onto. And the MAC Paint Pots are so good for that. I think they're my favorite eyeshadow primers. For eyeshadow, I really want to build up a cool toned look. So I'm taking the Viseart Petite Pro 1 palette. And I'm taking that taupey shade and that's what I'm going to use to build up my shape. So creating an outer V shape and bringing that into the crease. That's going to be my starter shape, and I'm going to be building on top of that color. And this is all done initially with that one taupe shade. I'm just going to build up the intensity by building on the layers. So think of this step as an eye contour. So you really want to contour the shape of your eye and kind of map out what you want it to be and what direction you want it to go in. So I'm going for a very pulled out look, and because I'm keeping everything matte, I really want to work with the depths and the intensities of the colors. To break up a bit of that ashy tone that we're getting in the crease, I'm taking the orange color in the Jackie Aina palette, which I think is called Ginger, and I'm going to be diffusing it very lightly all over the edges. And what I love about this is that it doesn't make it a warm look, it just kind of ties down that cool tone with a bit of the warm tone. And going back to my Viseart palette, I'm taking the deeper shade, which is a very ashy brown, and I'm going to intensify that starting from the lash line and building up into that crease. And you guys, this is all about working in thin layers and working up and building up that shape. So I'm still working with that darker shade and building up that intensity on the outer corners. Taking that warm toned orangey shade from the Jackie Aina palette, I'm going to diffuse the edges of that liner I did with the shadow. So again, bringing in a bit of kind of a hint of the warm tones to tie it down. And I really love these two color stories together. I'm taking the Zoeva Caramel Melange palette, which is their tiny palettes, and taking that bone beige color. And what I love about this is it's not a stark white, but it is a very off-white color. It's a bone beige. <laughs> 
And I'm going to be applying that all over the lid and you get a very 90s feel by creating this full matte look with that bone beige on the lid. I love it. And it gives you that space and the depth that I really, really like. And taking in that darkest ash brown, I'm going to be darkening the crease and kind of defining it now that I've put that bone beige and I can see all that shape and see how far I want to take it. For mascara, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes 2 mascara. And I'm going to let Liana put that and really get into the lashes. And then I am going to be going in with individual lashes. And these are the Ardell Individuals in Medium. Always, always, always. I'm always using these individual lashes. Now, dipping back into the two cool tones that I used. And I'm going to be going on the lower lashes just to tie everything in. I'm not going all the way in. I'm kind of going halfway. And whatever is left on the brush, I'm smudging it very lightly to the inner corner. I'm going to create a super thin liner, barely anything. I don't want it to show. I just want to tie in those lashes with the lash line. And I'm taking the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. So basically, you're not meant to look like you're wearing any liner. For blush, I'm taking the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Soft Peach. And I'm going to be tapping that in between where I contoured and kind of where that really light concealer is. Over the temples, a bit on the nose, just to warm everything up. And to contour, I'm taking the Dior Backstage Contour Palette and taking the cool tone and the darkest tone. And I'm going to be putting that on the hollows of the cheek, on the jawline, so areas where I want to contour and where I've done the creams. For lip liner as a base, I'm taking the Pat McGrath Contour Lip Pencil, just to add that shape and kind of map out the lips. And Liana has full lips, so I'm not really worried about overlining. I just want to create that 90s feel. And I think overlining was essential in the 90s regarding your lip shape. For a deeper color, I'm taking the KKW Beauty 2.5 Lip Liner and going over the edges again. So now you have the contour as a shadow and then you have this more as the contour. I'm going to work on defining her lips and making sure the edges are nice and crisp. And blending in those two lip liners. So I'm going back and forth with the Pat McGrath Contour and the KKW just to blend them in together. For lipstick, I'm taking the KKW Nude Cream Lipstick in Nude 2.5. This is Liana's lipstick, and she loves it. And I actually placed an order after this because I wanted to try a few KKW. Because I was interested, and I really liked how the lipstick looked. So I'm going to be blending that lipstick into the lip liner and keeping everything nice and light in the center. Going for a very nude, peachy lip. For a highlighter, I'm taking the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Now, I'm not going too intense with this highlighter because I want to keep it fairly matte, but just a tiny hint on the high points of the cheekbones. A bit on the chin. So she basically doesn't look like she's wearing a ton of highlighter. It just adds a bit of a glow. And setting everything with my favorite matte setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air. And I love this setting spray so much. I've talked about it so many times. And this is the final 90s transformation look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I loved doing this and I love the 90s. And I mean, I love a good shimmer on the lid, but this reminded me of how beautiful an all matte look is. You can really sculpt the face, you can define your features, you can really play around with so many different things when you create an all matte look. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to continue seeing more of my videos because I'm going to be uploading a ton more. I will see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.